Hey yo guys, my name is Diana and welcome to my favorite episode of the whole year, the Halloween episode. So let's get started because we have a lot of events for you. We start the show off with an introduction to a brand new game, Warlords of Eternum. Then we go over to Elvenar where Timon tells us more about the Autumn event. Afterwards, we go over to the Forge of Empires team where things got a little bit creepy with Kai and T. Before you guys go out there and collect some candies, we have a special treat for you, a brand new game to the show, Warlords of Eternum. Hey fellow gamers and warlords. you probably heard of a game called Warlords of Eternum and today I'm going to show you what that's all about. Warlords of Eternum is a mobile strategy game. Deploy your units on a hex battlefield and use them wisely to defeat your opponent. Collect and recruit dozens of unit types, equip and customize them and choose exactly how your army grows from weapons and armor to game-changing abilities. There are five different unit types. They all have their advantages and disadvantages, so use them wisely. Also, randomize hex battlefields, add to the challenges of each combat, master the turn-based strategy, and crush your enemies in PvP leaderboards. All right, guys, if you haven't checked out the game yet, go to the app stores, download the game, play it, and tell me about it on the forums. I'll see you next time. Thank you, David. I'll make sure to watch out for those orts. But now let's go to Elven Art, where Timon tells us more about their autumn event. Hello, Elven Art players. My name is Timon, and I'm one of the game designers of the Elven Art team. If I look outside these days, the autumn has already begun, and that means it's time for our next big event. And this time, we are going nuts. Literally, of course. The Autumn event is all about collecting nuts to open chestnuts. Got it? Now that Riki is on vacation, there's no one to choke me for my silly jokes. You collect nuts mainly by solving quests, but they are also popping up quite frequently around your town, so keep an eye open for them. If you collected enough nuts, open a chestnut. They contain a random reward, all of them quite useful, but the main attraction is certainly the daily price. The chance to get it are higher on the more expensive chestnuts. Ah yes, and every time you open a chestnut, you receive sprouts you can save up for the outstanding main prizes. The buildings, by the way, are also all about nuts and cute animals. Can you collect them all? We also listened to your feedback about former events and did some refinements to the balancing. For example, the military-related rewards are back, but this time the buildings are way, way more powerful than before. And also, not every daily prize is a building now. Sometimes you can win a bunch of mighty instant spells. I hope you enjoy the new event and I wish you good luck with the chestnuts. Also, to help us improve our game every day, please use the forums and the comments section below and let your voice be heard. See you next time and keep on playing. Now let's go to the Forge of Empires team where it seems Kai had kind of an accident this time. Oh, hey Kai. Good to see you, but you look unwell. You've been around the whole office all day and nobody's been able to tell? Well, since you're back from vacation, we can talk about the Halloween event, right? Or maybe you should see a doctor. You look quite the fright. Hello T, my dearest friend. I recently traveled to a faraway land and there I have been, as far as I know, cursed to become a creepy scarecrow. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really the worst. But do you know who else has also been cursed? It's Jack-o'-lantern, our Halloween quest giver. And this year we'll tell you his origin story. It might give you shivers. Jack is back in this year's Forge of Empires Halloween questline event. And it's time to learn where he came from, ladies and gents. He also brought with him a bunch of nice rewards, including some classic and new Halloween buildings and two new avatars to work towards. As you can see, when you solve the quest, it will help your overall quest progress. The first special reward, just when you begin, is a graveyard building that you can win. During your journey, if you do not delay, you can update your graveyard two times on your way. As you can see, this event is worth your time. We're so excited, we're speaking in rhyme. And if you manage to solve all the quests before the event ends, you'll get the intimidating Black Tower Residential to show off to your friends. 
It's a powerful building that grants you medals, forge points and goods. We're sure it will be the talk of the whole neighborhood. We hope you enjoy this year's Halloween Questline event. Please let us know if it was your time well spent. Okay then, Forge fans, it's time for us to go and see if we can change Kai back from this creepy scarecrow. So ghouls, witches, orcs, and whatever's in between, that was it for the October episode of Inno Games TV. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll make sure to bring you the latest news on all your games. Bye! Or should I say meow?